And what do I always say when it takes a long time to sell if it's a big money bolo? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares if it takes a year to sell? You just flipped four bucks into 170 pretty much. That is worth the year wait in my opinion. I Got this at a tiny Wednesday flea market in Arizona for $5. Sold for full price in a half an hour. <gasps> $299.99 plus shipping in a half an hour. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we are gonna talk about big money bolos, items that sold in February for big money. I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. These items come from my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. Uh, they come from members of the group and also members of my YouTube channel. If you join memberships at level two on my YouTube channel, you will get perks. What that means is you will get a mention in this video and I will link you down in the description. So if you hear me call out or shout out a YouTube channel or an eBay store, that means they are a Bolo Buddies YouTube member at level two. Um, no pressure to join memberships. It's really just there for those of you that are trying to grow a YouTube channel or want to get eyes on your eBay store. It is completely free to share a bolo. It is completely free to watch this channel. Memberships are for perks. So thank you all so much for being here. Let me know down in the comments how you found the channel and we're gonna get started. I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it and what it sold for. This first one comes from Leo's Treasures and she is a Bolo Buddies member. No YouTube channel, but has an eBay store. And she said, my nephew asked me to sell his Lego minifigures for him. The cost to him was nothing as it was a gift. This one minifigure sold for $60.75 and the buyer paid shipping. It's a Star Wars Airborne Clone Trooper minifigure, episode three, rare, 212. Wow. You know who's selling minifigures is Donatella. And she is Donatella Bottolino on YouTube. And this is her YouTube channel. But she is now selling on Whatnot under just Donatella. And she has been selling minifigures just like this. You want to know who else is selling minifigures is Rachel Strickland's son over on her whatnot channel. Rachel Strickland, her name is her whatnot. Go and follow both Donatella and Rachel Strickland. You can also follow me. I am Bolo Buddies. There is a link down below where you can get $15 to shop. It's my referral link if you join with that whatnot link. Speaking of whatnot, this one comes from eBay store impressions created and this is from Donna2445 and she bought this sweater from my whatnot show and I was doing a bunch of vintage clothing. She paid $22.53 for this including tax and shipping and she was asking $79.99 for it. The buyer was all in for $91.44. She said it sold quickly and she put St. Patrick's Day in the description. It's a vintage Allen Payne men's sweater, Shetland, 100% wool, Kelly Green cable knit, um, and it says size 46. So this came from my Whatnot show. So she flipped it. She bought it on Whatnot and sold it on eBay. Um, so definitely a big money bolo vintage item. So uh, very, very cool to see items that I brought to Whatnot selling on um, other platforms. So thank you so much, Donna, for sharing that. Here's another one from Donna. My, um, her eBay store is Impressions Created. She paid $16 at an online estate auction and asked $89.99 and took a best offer of $70. Buyer was all in for $82.45 and it took a long time to sell because it was an extra small size. It is an Indiana Jones hat fedora, Robert Reed, gentleman hatter, original box vintage. And this is what it looks like. The next item says, I am new to reselling and watch all your videos. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Learning so much from them. I went to an estate sale and walked by this small clock to get a box and have to get and have to get it. It was $5. I looked it up on Worth Point and the latest I saw was early 21 and it sold for $99. 
I was curious, so I listed mine at $99.99 on a seven-day auction. It went for $107 and stayed there till last morning, and my phone went crazy. I couldn't wait to see. Happy dance for me. My largest ever sale is sold for $225 plus shipping. Thank you, Courtney. Oh, you're welcome. I'm so excited for you. Yeah, I always tell you guys, like, if you have an item and there's no others listed, start it at what you want to get out of the item. Do an auction and then you'll know. I mean, the worst case is you list it high. Let's say she listed it at $99.99 and it doesn't sell. Well, then you know that you have to put it on a buy it now. But look what happened. It sold for $255. So it is worth, I mean, there's no risk by doing an auction. None. Um, it is a good morning, sir. Jeeves, or I don't know if that J, I don't know how that J is pronounced. Stephen Fry talking alarm clock, and this is what it looks like. So that is awesome. I bought these brand new steel toed browning boots at the Goodwill for $9.95, sold on eBay for $175 plus shipping. And this is what they look like. So they're army green, vintage army green boots. Got this at a tiny Wednesday flea market in Arizona for $5. Sold for full price in a half an hour. <gasps> $299.99 plus shipping in a half an hour. Ah! I'm always like, did I sell it too low when things sell fast? It is a T Alten and Dar. <laughs> All right. We always have to have at least one word I mess up per video. Altendera and uh, la, 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 and Sons. That's what it looks like. Anyway, it's a drafting drawing architectural tool set kit in the box and it is vintage. Wow, wow, wow. Sold in a half an hour. That's incredible. I picked up this door frame fan for $2 at a garage sale. Door frame fan. Would you have walked past it or would you have picked it up? The older couple hosting the sale was downsizing in advance of a move from PA to SC and had, for some reason, decided to have their sale on a Thursday at 10 a.m. Not surprisingly, I was the only shopper there. You got to love those Thursday sales, right? I sold this item at my asking price of $50. I sold it within a day of being posted. It is a Sun Court door frame fan. I would have looked at that and been like, Where's that go? I would not have known it was a door frame fan. That's awesome. Bought a large bin of vintage pencils for $4 at an auction. So I have pennies in this NFL pencil set. Found, I'm sorry, sold for full asking price of $45. After about a month of listing them, still have many more pencils to list. This is what it looks like. Vintage 70s and 80s NFL pencils set of... And it's cut off. I don't know how many, but it looks like quite a few. But yeah, vintage pencils can definitely be a bit low. I got him for free at a yard sale. I thought he might be something, but I had no idea. It turns out he's retired and hard to find. It sold for full asking price within minutes. It's a rare, hard to find, retired Douglas Cuddle toy, Huskin, Huskin, <laughs> Husky Aspen, and this is what it looks like. It is a cutie pie little plush. Oh my goodness. Anytime you can find plush that is realistic looking, definitely pick it up. I do have a video on realistic plush. Definitely check that out because it is just incredible what some of them go for. The ones that are life size and really big have a tendency to go for more, but even these smaller ones can do well also. It looks like she sold this on Mercari for $90 plus shipping. Also, if you have not seen my video about comparing um, what Build-A-Bear are selling for on Mercari compared to eBay, you have got to check that out. For, number one, there are some Build-A-Bear that go for crazy money. And number two, in that video, I show you that a lot of them are selling for more on Mercari. It's just unbelievable. This is what that video looks like. I'll try to remember to link it down below. If not, you can search it. Um, but just... It's crazy. And if you guys are not selling on Mercari, I, I highly recommend it, especially if you sell plush. But if not selling, it is a great platform to buy. And a lot of times you can find things that you can buy on Mercari and flip on eBay because a lot of the sellers on Mercari are hobby sellers and they're just 
moving stuff out of their house. You know what I mean? Just trying to get rid of stuff that's in their house and they'll just price something without really researching it. So you may be able to find a nice little bolo. There is a link, it's a referral link down below. If you click on that, it's gonna take you over to Mercari and you can join and you're gonna get $10 to shop when you join with that link. And then you're also gonna get $20 additional to shop once you sell $100 on the app. And it's just a really easy user-friendly app. So definitely check it out. Purchased at an estate sale on my street for 50 cents. Sold on eBay, same day. Listed for 225 and took an offer of 195. Unfortunately, oh, I lied. He put a big picture here, but there's also the um, actual sold, so I can read you the title. That's what I was looking for. Incredible 1893 antique photos. San Francisco, Wentworth store, people, rare. And it looks like it might be, um, maybe it's an album. It looks like maybe more than one. I'm not really sure because the first picture looks like it's just one, but it says photos in the description or the title. So I'm not sure on that one but sold it for $195. That is just great. Purchased it in a state sale for $10 and sold it for full asking price in an hour with a small disclosed flaw. So can things that have flaws or bumps and bruises sell for big money? Yes. This sold for $119.99 plus shipping. It is a rare M&M's Danbury Mint Holiday Easter Egg Stravaganza rare and this is what it looks like i was browsing the flatware section at the goodwill and saw the name finland on a knife in a baggie of flatware hmm scandinavian flatware is often desirable so always check it out this is a stainless pattern by famous danish designer jens ooh quisgard who designed many assorted home pieces his collaboration with dansk especially in the 1950s and 60s era, produced several highly collectible items. His pieces will be marked JHQ. Check out the education here, right? Stainless flatware finds don't need to be full sets. Just look for quality brands and interesting patterns. Buyers are looking to replace or add to their existing patterns, so there is a great market out there. I paid $6.99 and sold for $200 individually could have brought more but i like to move things quickly as flatware this was definitely a fun find. took a while to sell i had it priced at 129 dollars 99 then i lowered it to 89.99 plus shipping and it sold i purchased at a garage sale for one dollar it is a vintage 1999 pokemon charmander pillow pal plush full body 90s large and rare $89.99. Pokemon plush. Got this empty candy box for free at an estate sale. I was asking $65 for it because it had some stains on it. Took an offer of $50. Sold on the same day it was listed. Buyer was all in for $60.60. Yes, these vintage Valentine's Day candy boxes, definitely a bolo. Um, if I ever find one of these, I'm going to put it on an auction. Vintage Whitman's Valentine Empty Heart Candy Box. Pink Lace Ribbons and Roses. Beautiful. Got this from a Curb Alert on Facebook Marketplace, so it was free. Sold on Mercari for $48 plus shipping. It is a step two up and down roller coaster replacement car. And this is what it looks like. Curb Alert. Purchased this at the Goodwill Outlet. Paid 28 cents. Sold within 10 minutes of listing for the full asking price of $69.95 plus shipping. After selling, another user reached out to me asking if I had any others. Hazel Village Plush, definitely a bolo. This is what it looks like. It's a Hazel Village 2013 Lucy 13 inch gray owl plush stuffed animal with outfit. This next one comes from Ray Nathan RZ, and this is her Mercari store. She is a Bolo Buddies member. Bought at a thrift store for 99 cents. Started listing at 69. Was on the job when got an offer for 49. Was just going to take it, but wanted to wait till I got home from the job. Got home and saw another offer and took the $55. Sometimes it's good to wait. Sold in under a month on Mercari. Vintage San Sanrio planners sell well for me. So it's a Sanrio Hello Kitty Cat Choco Cat Six Ring Binder Planner Organizer from 2007. And I will 100% agree with her. 
sometimes um, if it's an item that I just listed or I've had multiple offers on it, sometimes I'll sleep on it and wait until morning to decide if I'm going to take that best offer because in the meantime, you may get another offer if it's a harder to find item. This has been up for over a year. Bought at the thrift for $3.99, was complete with some extra pieces. I was the only one on the web with the box and complete at the time. Listed at $199 and gradually lowered the price. Sold for full asking price of $169.99 plus shipping on eBay. And it's Ray Nathan RZ09 and that is the eBay store. Um, she said just two bolos this month. But anyway, $3.00. And 99 cents into 169.99 but took over a year, a year to sell and what do i always say when it takes a long time to sell if it's a big money bolo who cares who cares who cares if it takes a year to sell you just flipped four bucks into 170 pretty much that is worth the year wait in my opinion i love saying that i'm like who cares so i've now done it i think in three videos and it may just be like Thanks for watching. I'm going to say it every time. Every time you sell, tell me that a big money bolo took over a year to sell, I'm going to say, who cares? And you guys are going to start doing it. I bet you. I bet you. All right. This one comes from Grinning Grandma. And it is a real Remy human hair clip in extension, open box, dark brown. And this is what it looks like. She said, this box of hair extensions came from an estate sale on half price day. So I paid two and a half dollars. List, um, listed them late yesterday afternoon for $70. Received an offer for 55. In less than an hour, I countered with 60 and she accepted and paid. This next one comes from Farm Girl Scavenger Noel. She purchased at an estate sale that she went to during the summer with Terry, Mindful Recycle, and she sold this for $119 and she shipped it out today. It's a Franklin Mint William Kazmar, the Golden Carp Porcelain Figure Bohemian Artist Vintage. Noelle finds some awesome stuff. So Noelle, Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle, and Mindful Recycle Terry are both moderators of this Facebook group. I highly recommend both channels. They are bolo finders. They help me out so much with this group, keeping it under control. And I tell you guys all the time, if you see something in the Facebook group that is mean or that is not following the rules, if you are on your phone, hold down on the comment and report. If you are on your computer, there's three dots. Click on those three dots and report it. Please do that to help us out. There's almost 85,000 members in this group. And there's a lot that goes on that I don't approve of, but I can't keep up with everything and my moderators cannot keep up with everything. We all work full time at our reselling businesses and we can't be on Facebook all the time. So your help is so appreciated when you guys can report those posts, okay? So in advance, thank you to everyone that is reporting. But anyway, check out Farm Girl Scavenger Noel and Mindful Recycle. I will link them down below. Go sub them up and pick a video watch it and tell them thank you in the comments. All right. Bought for $1.99 at a thrift store. It had damage on the binding. Sold overnight. It is a vintage pink waffle weave baby blanket nylon binding. And the last item I'm going to share is the biggest bolo of the day, of the show. Found these in a storage unit for $30. Sold them to the same buyer. Sold within hours of listing. Couldn't believe it when I looked up the comps on WorthPoint. All right, first off, before I show you the bolos, if you're not using WorthPoint, I love it. Um, it took me a long time to get it because I'm cheap. <laughs> but what I realized once I got it was this is making me money and I should have gotten it a long time ago. I have a few videos that show you how to use WorthPoint and how it's made me more money. It pays for itself, you guys. Um, but anyway, so if he would not have had worth point and look these up he may have sold these for way less so worth point is it worth it i say yes i do have a referral link down below if you guys want to click on it check it out there are different um levels you can join at there's like um a level that only searches for older listings and then there's another one that looks at like marks for i think uh markings on things that helps you with identification 
And then there's the third level where it incorporates both of them. You can pay by the month or you can pay by the year. If you pay by the year, it is discounted. So um, I pay by the year because I'm cheap <laughs> and I want that um, I want that discount. So what did he sell? All right, this comes from Cajun Reseller and um, he is not a member of my channel, but I am gonna shout him out because he has been super helpful for me and he has an awesome YouTube channel and I want you guys to go and sub him up. So um, he's getting a shout out, even though he's not a member. This is what he sold. Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, first edition. Remember, he got it in a storage unit and he paid $30 for the storage unit. It sold for $1,100. Can you believe it? The next one, it gets better. Well, not better than that, but better. Better in combination. DSM-2, Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, 1968, $550. So between the two, one thousand six hundred. I had to figure out the math. One thousand six hundred and fifty dollars from a thirty dollars storage unit, and I'm guessing there was probably other items in that storage unit that he sold. So that is a wow, right? Incredible. Um, so shout out to Cajun Reseller for an amazing find, and I'm not sure if he has a video on that storage unit or not, but I need to go look. So he specializes in plush. If you want to learn about plush, um, definitely check out his channel. Thank you guys. Thank you for being here. Let me know how you found the channel. Uh, leave me an owl emoji. If you can't find an owl emoji, just write the word hoot. And thanks for watching. Oh, be sure to subscribe, like, comment. And if you'd be so kind, share. That would be awesome. Thanks for watching.